Eating should be something you should be able to enjoy for your whole life. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm back with a continuation of my creative journey. Strip them story time with another two boxes of set three. We're gonna strip them two more boxes of set three. I'm having a lot of fun opening this set. Got a pretty cool, some pretty cool alt arts last week. Um, if this is your first time here and you want to hit that subscription button, it would be really cool if you did. And if you're a returning member, thanks for coming by. Thanks for continuing this story with me. Um, if this is your first time here, every week I just tell a story about um, something interesting, entertaining maybe, and open some trading cards while we do it. I don't really know too much about all the skills in this set, but I do appreciate the art in this game very much. So I'm excited to see it with you here while we shrimp them anyway i'm going to continue where i left off on my story last week um talking about my creative journey in life here and basically i started last week with saying that i really think we got a blessing bless in the pack um i really think that everybody's better at making something than everybody else in the world and finding whatever that thing is you know you just you have to be willing to take take the take the risks make the mistakes and make the things to find that thing that you're going to be better at than making than everybody else so um, where we left off was I was in San Francisco and I just found some fabric that I wanted to make a vest out of. So I made that vest and um, I loved that vest and I wanted to make more. So I made another vest and then I made another vest and then I made some pants and then I made a shirt and then I just kept making things, right? So I figured out how to cut a piece of clothing apart and turn it into a pattern and then just start cutting fabric. And it got to the point where when I was in my senior year of undergrad, I was going to LA once a week to buy yards and yards and yards of fabric. And I would I would get so much fabric and I basically just like lived in my room. My sewing machine was in my room and I would make something more or less every day I would make something. Um, but it wasn't until the year after that that I started really developing my, I love this art, this marker art so good. It wasn't really until the year after that that I started developing more of my designs and started making stuff that was really different than what I was making before. So I figured out a way to make pants. I was in I was in Philadelphia and I was at this fabric store and this guy had these really cool jackets and I asked him how to make jean pockets. His name was Mr. James and Mr. James showed me on a piece of paper, he cut a piece of paper and sewed the paper in his sewing machine to show me how to make jean pockets. So I started making pants with pockets and, um, oh, you know, I was just thinking about how I haven't seen this. Wow, that is shiny as heck. You know, I do agree. I think I do like the art and the composition on the SR better, but this is super shiny. Wow, wow, what an insanely reflective card. Oh my God though. Wow, that's wild. That's totally wild. Cool, I love to get alt arts that I haven't pulled yet because I would like to see all the alt arts in the set. And I'll do a video on them, showing them off, but I'll probably have to buy singles. Oh, here's our Sanji Don. Sanji Don! Um, so yeah, so Mr. James showed me how to cut a piece of paper and turn it into a James pocket. So. I started experimenting more and I realized like I use all these patterns or these fabrics with these really cool patterns on them and I felt like mama mama I felt like all the pants that I was making whenever I would have to cut the side seam for the pocket it was like man I have this cool design but it's getting interrupted by this seam that I have to put on the side like how can I figure out how to make pockets with no side seams so one night I was cutting fabric out on my deck at the beach. I lived I lived on an island off the coast of New Jersey for a couple, uh, for about a year before dental school. And uh, I just made a ton of clothes. That's actually when I started my clothing business. Um, but yeah, so I used to make all these pants and I was out there making pants one night and it just clicked how I could do it without a side seam. I had to sort of like shortcut this idea and put pieces together in a way that I didn't really know if it worked, but I tried it because I wasn't afraid to make the mistake. And that's the important part about exploring your creativity is that you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your materials. You don't want to make something that you don't like, but if you're going to be dedicated to making something eventually, you're not gonna be able to make those mistakes anymore because you're gonna train yourself so well into doing something in the formula that you've created to, to, to make something well 
that you can't even make those mistakes anymore. It's impossible. So when you can make those mistakes, make them because those are your greatest teachers. Being able to sew two pants legs together in the completely wrong, I love this art also, this is so good. Yeah, second ball. Um, when you make those mistakes, those are the things that you're gonna learn to not make those mistakes anymore. And the pieces that I have with the mistakes that I made originally, I mean, I really cherish those pieces a lot because I'm just literally never gonna do that again. It's just not gonna happen. So when I look at that stuff, I think about, wow, look how far I've come. Look at everything that I've made since then. And um, you know, it's, a, it's something I'm proud of. And, and if you are creative and you're somebody that wants to make things, then you know take the risk make that mistake screw something up it's okay it's gonna happen it's part of the process it's in in like extreme sports it's called paying the man right it's like falling and busting your cheeks on the mountain or whatever it's like you gotta pay the man if you want to get good and it's the same thing in creativity you gotta mess stuff up um if you want to get there so um yeah so i started making these clothes and uh i made tons and tons and tons of clothes i also started making pins and stickers and coins um the guy that kind of taught me how to screen print when i was an undergrad his name is eddie he worked in the media studies at pitzer college and um he took me to this place called the iss uh in printing convention and it was like so insane to see the versatility of stuff that people were making what people were using to create stuff and that was the first place I saw a lot of different options of how stuff could get printed so you know I saw like sublimation printing I saw people making pins I saw people making stickers I saw DTG stuff and just seeing everything that's possible really made me start thinking like wow like I can really make anything if I really want to and I find the right pieces bless them of this puzzle to put together like there's nothing stopping me from making anything that i want except myself so um i started making more and more stuff and exploring oh oh right up oh double back to back marcos what the heck it seems like i got, got gypped i don't actually even like this art that much it's just really shiny but maybe there's something else cool in this box i don't know i think there could be i think there can still be I don't know if the alt art leaders take the AA spot. I don't remember. I was just having so much fun during that stream when I opened all this stuff on Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, so uh, it started with clothes. And then after undergrad, I took a trip to Japan and I started buying Dragon Ball Heroes cards. I spent actually like all my money in my bank account on Dragon Ball Heroes cards in Japan, in Tokyo at the time. And uh, when I got home, I started using those cards to make t-shirts. I would take pictures of them. And I found this website called rageon.com where I could submit my picture and make a t-shirt out of it. And they would send me t-shirts. And it, I started doing that and people, oh, Don Quixote, Do Flamingo. There's our wanted card. Wow, this is the seven drop. Seven drop's good. Bounce something, seven costs or lower back to hand very very strong cardo nice nice that's two out of the four wanted cards so i'm missing kid and kaido now but i would be happy to pull luffy as many times as ever but that's actually probably all that i'm pulling from this case so yeah we got a marco and a dofi that's pretty good um so i started um i started turning these t-shirts into uh uh, I started turning these cards into t-shirts to this company and the shirts were really cool. They're really nice. And I was like, all right, I want to know how they're doing this. So I started researching it and I, it was sublimation printing. So eventually I found a sublimation printer that was nearby where I was. And I started just having them make the stuff for me. Um, and then I was like, wait a second, I could just be printing whatever I want onto fabric, right? Like if I'm sublimating this stuff onto t-shirts, I like wearing the t-shirt fabric on my legs anyway, cause it's more comfortable. So what if I just like sublimate it on a fabric and then turn those into pants? Cause I started my clothing company is called Pants News. I was spreading the word, the news that I think pants should be spelled P-A-N-C-E because pants is like a singular thing. It's not plural. You know, I don't know why pants is plural, but for whatever reason they made the word plural and I don't think it should be. So I want to spread the news that I think it should be P-A-N-C-E because it's really singular and I make a lot of pants. So I started my clothing company, Pants News, and I started um, custom designing textile prints 
So fabric, like I was taking images, but mostly Dragon Ball stuff. I was really into Dragon Ball. I didn't actually get into One Piece until like my fourth year of dental school. And it was because somebody like challenged Dragon Ball and I was like, no way, Dragon Ball is the best story. They can't say it's better. And then I read it and I was like, oh yeah, One Piece is a way better story. But nonetheless, I still love Dragon Ball. I have a lot of my heart for it. Um, but yeah, I started using those designs to make t-shirts and uh, textiles. And um, as I was printing the textiles, then I started developing more designs and using the textile pattern kind of more in the form of the thing I was creating. And at that point, I think that was the first time that I really started doing something that nobody else in the world was doing. I don't think I've never seen anybody taking images of cards, turning them, tessellating them into textile patterns and then fabricating clothing with those. I feel like that was pretty unique in what I was doing, especially since my pants design, the pocket with no side seam is also something I'd never seen. I kind of like mistakenly weaseled my way into um, making something that nobody else was really making. So that's kind of how I got to that point for my first time, but it happened again and it happened pretty recently, which is where I'm gonna get to in the next leg of my story when I talk about my printing journey, which if you've been a subscriber, you probably have heard parts of the story for the next time. We only have three packs left, so I'm gonna jump into that pretty soon. And while I'm finishing up, you know, I'm just gonna jump into my dental tooth tip right now. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. And last week I said, don't wait until something hurts to go to the dentist. You also should just go to the dentist prophylactically. Get your teeth cleaned. You know, you, there's areas in your teeth that you can't reach that they can. Here's our bless them. I don't, I don't think there's any. We pulled an altar and a wanted card, so I think that's it in here. But there's stuff you can't clean on your own and you need it clean professionally. And it builds up over time and it causes problems. So just make sure that you're going regularly, getting yourself taken care of and keep a happy, healthy smile because eating should be something you should be able to enjoy for your whole life. It's something you can do consistently as you get older. A lot of things get harder to do and eating should stay easy. Thank you, gozaimasu, and I'll see you guys next week. What? Wait, what'd you say? There's a new wave of counterfeits flowing through, so I'm checking these. Yeah, you want to tell me something about it? Um, they're apparently called German Ninja Proxies. Yeah. Because they're from Germany, um, and they're so good, it's like ninjas so sneaking in. So what are you doing, ninja work over here? I'm, I'm doing ninja detective work, trying to sleuth out the ninjas, because there's no ninjas at Greg's Games, only true gamers.